How do we get the most out of our products when we're heading into spring and summer? I'm gonna show you guys some tips and techniques today from foundations and skincare to colors for the eyes and the lips. Let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm gonna to pull for my makeup artist brain a few tips and techniques as we head into summer and spring on how to use our products in a different way. That doesn't mean you need to buy new products. Use what you got and let me show you how to alter it to work for these warmer months. Now we're gonna start first with a foundation. Now pick the foundation that has medium to full coverage. I'm gonna start with the Dior Forever Natural Nude. It's a pretty dense foundation and I'm gonna add a couple drops of oil. Today I'm gonna to start with one that is really special to me because this is a product that was sent to me by a subscriber. And no, this is not sponsored. The subscriber reached out to me and said, I love your channel so much. Would you mind if I send you some of my products because I really just wanna thank you for what you do. And I thought that was so sweet and I said, well, well, yeah, send some to me. I'm excited to try it. So Carolina, hello, sent me a bunch of really great products. And I say really great because I've been able to use them for a couple months to see how they work. And I have some that I like and some that I love. I'm going to show you the ones that I love today. So the first one that I love, and it's an oil, is this beauty. It's called Mila Diore, and I hope I'm saying that right. Let's go ahead and take this oil now, and we'll do one drop. That's all you need whatever oil you're using, just one drop. Take your foundation, you're gonna do a pump. And I have about a half a pump here, and then you're gonna mix it. And you're gonna see right away just how juicy this looks when you add oil to your foundation. Look at that, it is thinned out, it is glossy, and it's gonna create a tinted moisturizer type of look. And you're going to create a signature suntan look depending on where your skin tone is at. So you're gonna take a little bit on the corner of your hand. Now, I use my hands all the time, and I imagine this is my palette, and these are my little brush heads. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your contour or bronzer, and you're gonna mix a little bit in. And go to the color that's either close to your skin tone, where you're tan, or for me, I wanna add some color to my skin because I'm really fair, I stay out of the sun, but if I wanna create the illusion of a vacation, which I need very badly, um, I will just do it with makeup. Okay, so here's my skin tone. This is the foundation I wear, and as you can see, that's a good shade, shade and a half, maybe even two shades up. Take a sponge, whatever's left over, going to grab the rest of it. Now, if you're somebody who has discoloration, dark spots, acne, you're still gonna do the same technique. And you can go in with the concealer afterwards. Get the juiciness on this. And remember, I'm all about bending the light, which means when you turn your head, your skin should grab light. You can see that glow going. You're gonna take a domed brush. This is the MAC 217, the very popular MAC 217. And you're gonna grab just a little bit of that same contour bronzer. I call it bronzer because it has a warmth to it, but it definitely has an undertone of cool, which is why she calls it her contour stick. This is the Westman Atelier, just in case I forgot to mention that. Um, but what we're gonna do now is once we have added this to our foundation with a couple drops of oil, now we're gonna carve a little bit. And I use the word carve because I want to define features. So I think of it like in a way that a sculptor would. They carve into areas to create light and shadow. So taking a little bit of that color, I'm gonna go in now onto that brow ridge. It's going to make the surrounding colors look lighter. So just by putting that one color here, these two areas are gonna look brighter now. Just by putting the bronzer contour here, this area is gonna look lighter and it creates a natural type of highlight look without using highlighters. All right, so once we've placed that down, we're gonna go in with a little bit more and I'm going to bring it down the side of my nose and then I'm gonna work down. And I'm using very, very little here. I don't want a high contrast theater contour. I am not going on stage. I am not being photographed today. I just wanna create something that I could go out in public and look like the best version of myself. Adding a little bit more, I'm going to create a little more definition. A little bit underneath the lip here. A little smiley face at the tip of my nose, a little above actually, because we wanna shorten the length. I have a longer nose. So by going up just a little bit higher than just the edge, will help to create a stop point to make the nose look a little shorter, which I don't mind my Romanesque nose, but if I wanted to soften it a bit, that's how I do it. 
Grabbing a little bit more and I'm going to put it on the chin, creating a smiley face. All right, I'm gonna finish the other side of my face and then we're going to get into the color part of this spring, summer, fresh look. I'm going to use these two products today, but I'm reaching over here because this palette, if you've got it, is a really good option too. This is the Byredo palette. And this is the Remembrance palette. And it's got a few beautiful cooler silver colors that I recommend using. But today I'm gonna to show you guys something different because I already showed you that palette and I like to keep things interesting for you all and <laughs> show you as many products as I can. I'm gonna use the Chantecaille today, which is so, so pretty. And this is Olive Rathine, I believe it says. And then I have the Contour Graphite Stick by Chanel. All right, so these are some of my favorite eyeliner sticks. And I do have a video I'm gonna film for you guys on the Victoria Beckham sticks that are just like this. And you guys know how much I love the Victoria Beckham eyeliners. All right, so let's take this gray color and this graphite is so pretty. We're going to loosely and quickly put it against the lash line. Some of those makeup products where you don't have to be precious about how you initially apply it. And you're gonna take your finger and just blend you can use a brush. I find it quicker to just use my finger. And when you get to the part where your brow bone is at, you're gonna go right on top of there. That's how you break up a hooded lid or a mono lid. You just go right on top. So I'm gonna go right here and just very, very lightly add some color up here. Not too much, I just want a little bit I'm creating an ombre effect from darkest at the lash line and then working up from medium to light. It's a great way to wear a smoky eye because it's not black, which can be a bit intense, and it's not brown, which can make us look a little tired. So I like to use gray and plummy colors or bronzy colors. Take that same pencil and you're gonna go underneath that lash line depositing most of the intensity on the outer corner and then slowly bring it in, lighten your hand or your application as you move in towards the nose. You wanna create a fade here. Now, we're gonna go in with this beauty here by Chantecaille. Taking our finger, I'm gonna use my pinky. How pretty is that? Oh, anthracite, so gorgeous. And I'm just going right in the center, creating that flick of light. Whatever's left over, I will very, very lightly tap on the outer corner and a little on the inner corner. Taking a fluffy domed brush, just soften that a bit. One of the easiest eye looks to do and it looks polished and it's great for a dinner night out cocktail evening, corporate event, or just a date with yourself where you wanna feel sexy. I dipped this in a little bit of water. Going in and tapping this on top of that liner, depositing most of the color on the outer edge and then lightly bringing it in. Now feel free to first dip your brush in the product and then spray the brush if you wanna keep your palette pristine. You guys know I like to get in there and get a little messy, so I already wet my brush and I'm just dipping it right in. And then I'm just going to paint this across the lid. And this is so freaking gorgeous. It's one of my favorite looks to do on all ages. Yes, all ages. If you are 50 and up, believe it or not, this is beautiful on you. A little light on the lids, especially if it's really well formulated as far as you know, micro shimmers. It can bring a twinkle to the eye that is just so becoming. Love this. I'm taking a little bit more here and going underneath that lash line. This is one of the easiest, most glamorous eye looks to do. It's wet, it's lacquered, it stays looking like this. Grabbing a bit of this. It's so pretty. It feels like you're wearing nothing. It's kind of a cool gel texture but it leaves such a nice finish. Look at that, a little bit of those um, silver gold flecks in there catch light beautifully.
you believe the power of a lipstick to affect a whole makeup look. I'm going to show you guys a quick little makeup tip here. If it ever gets too dark, I grab a red and I like to put it in the center. This is the DR999. Kind of brightens it a bit and then I love to go in with a lip gloss. Ooh, la 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 la. All right, so there we have it. I hope you learned a bunch of tips and techniques from the foundation with an oil in there to share it out, how to wear silver cool eye looks with several different lipsticks. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I always here for you all. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate those of you who continue to go on this voyage with me. And for those of you who are new to the channel, well, welcome to the voyage. And if you guys want to support the channel, you like the content, whether it's educational or entertaining, then go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment down below and use the affiliate links for anything I talked about today. I'll have everything I use, plus a list of stores to shop for anything your heart desires. Anytime you shop and use my links, I get a small commission and it helps me continue to do this channel. If you guys want to work with a professional makeup artist 25 years one on one, you can head to shrevoyage.com. It's in the description box below, and we can go over anything from beginner to advanced looks. And finally, if you guys haven't had enough, you can head to TikTok or to Instagram where I do many tutorials for you guys and show you the latest and greatest in upcoming makeup. And as always, continue to take care of yourselves, take care of each other, be kind to one another, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now, everybody.